all right guys we are back at it again at the mississippi river i just can't resist these fun blue cats this time i'm back at the very place that i caught my 70 pounder and the reason i chose this place is not only because of that but because i did not get hung one single time so the place i was yesterday i liked it a lot but i lost that big fish due to a snag and i got snagged several times this way I come here and I was able to rig the actual proper way. It took me about an hour. I put new line on all these poles. I upgraded a 40 pound Berkeley big game instead of 35. What I did then was slid the weight on first and these are five ounce weights. And then I put a big, large swivel below it. It cannot go through there though. Then I tie another foot to 18 inch section of leader line also the same line 40 pound big game with a hook so there you have it simple folks so when fish pull they do not feel the resistance of that weight because it is has the ability to slide up and down so those fish won't be weary when they nip at it they won't feel that weight i got all three of these poles the exact same way five ounce weights so I upgraded the line and upgraded the weights from three to five ounces and went up five pounds on the mono. Both with the same thing, 12, about a 12 inch leader. You don't want a leader too long when you're in current because then the bait just swings around. This one's got the longest leader. It's about 18 inches over here. So guys, oh, I'm, I got, I'm ready to bait them up and throw them out, put bells on them sit on my cooler and watch and wait let's get this done Something real decent again. Oh yeah, he's pulling pretty good. It's at least a couple pounds. I don't want to say three or four pounds. It's acting like a blue, I think. It feels smaller now. Don't feel very big at all. Unless you just ain't fighting. Guys, I've been fishing two hours to get this one fish. It's that slow. Oh, he's pulling okay. It's still on the smaller side, pretty small. Blue cat, about three pounds. It's been real tough today. It's four on the almanac, and we got enough wind. So two things not in my favor. <coughs>
had my very first sturgeon, guys. Wow. Oh, that is so cool, man. Oh, my gosh. Well, this trip paid off. I caught something. I've caught every kind of fish around here now that you can possibly pretty much catch on a rod and reel. I have never caught a shovel on sturgeon. That is so awesome. Just a little two pounder. I've never even seen one. I've ever seen my gloves on. Yeah, they got spikes. Well, it made this day worth it. It made this day worth it. Just to get him. seen one except dead on laying on the bank one time. Man, I'm pumped up. That is so awesome. Oh, he just came off. I gotta get him in the dip net and get him cleaned off. Get all that sand off of him. try to hold this fist for the camera not gonna be easy I don't even know how you're supposed to hold them but I'm gonna try guys Got a sturgeon, guys, that made this day worth it just in itself. Just that catching that one fish. That is so cool. Wow.
All right, guys, I got something pretty decent this time. I think it's a big old blue again. Now, it ain't gonna be no 70 pounds, but he's, he's big. It's at least 10 plus, maybe 20. Oh yeah, it's a big one. Oh yeah, it's a nice fish, whatever this is. It's acting like a blue. Blue or flathead. I'm thinking it's a blue by the way it's acting. It's letting me pull it up. Pretty nice. Oh yeah. Oh, now it's fighting. This is a catfish, actually. It's swimming all around now. I don't know what. It's a nether sturgeon. Nether sturgeon. What in the world? This one's pretty nice. This is a big in here compared to the first one I caught. Oh, man. That's awesome. I got to get my dip net. I want to make sure he don't get away. Oh, yeah. Wow. Another sturgeon. Oh, my God. Wow. That is so cool, man. Holy cow. Right, I'm going to get him unhooked. Picture here. Gotta get him out of this. First, though. See how he is hooked. Not very good. One cool fish right here guys they are just undescribably awesome boy they are sharp that little thing That is so cool, man. Such a blessing to catch one of these guys. I can't even describe my anxiety right now. It is just so cool, their mouth. I can't believe I've never caught one in my entire life and I come here and catch two an hour apart from each other. Now that tells you something. Look at that mouth.
guys. I'm going to get her back to safety. These are rare fish. It is a blessing to catch two of them like that. Wow. Such a blessing to catch one of these guys. So awesome, he's just sitting here. He's fine, he's gonna swim off. But I was glad he stayed a few minutes because got a good picture of him like this. something different like this to have the opportunity to finally catch a sturgeon man gosh i can't even describe it especially to a one day i would have never ever dreamed of such a thing oh i missed it Shit. oh i got it I got it guys. This may be another sturgeon. It's not fighting like a yep, sturgeon. I already seen it come to the top. Third one. This is just crazy, man. There must be a whole family of them here. Wow. And they're getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> yep, sturgeon. <laughs> Wow, another big one. I gotta get my net again. That is so awesome, man. Another one. I don't know what it is yet, though. 
I'm on something here. Possibly another sturgeon at the way things have been going. I believe that's so, because he's not pulling like a blue and it's staying down. I got another sturgeon, guys. This makes the up number four. Oh my goodness. This is just the insanest thing I've ever seen. Four sturgeon in one day. fished here twice. Oh, this is a mess. Absolute mess. Oh boy, I don't know what's going on here. I don't really care about the size to be honest. They're just so cool. I'm happy to get them. Cool sturgeon, guys. Man, so awesome. Watch them other poles. Four shovel nose sturgeon in one day. Nothing but pure cartilage. It is just so weird of a fish, man. See if I can get five. Yep, there he is. Another sturgeon. All right, number five. Shovel no sturgeon again, guys. Number five. Boy, the net is just hung all over his body.
shovel nose number five. Little bitty guy, just the smallest one of the day. Still cool. Guys, I got sturgeon number six coming in. It's my sixth one. He wasn't pulling for the longest time, and I went ahead and set the hook anyway. And I got lucky, and he was still on there. Sturgeon number six. Awesome. Whew. Ooh, he was barely hooked, guys. And I mean barely. on top of the cooler. I cannot believe I caught six of these in one day, guys. It's just insane. I'm so happy I came. I could have went anywhere else and done something else and I would have been missing out on a great opportunity. Sturgeon number six. Cool little fish. Guys, I got all three poles back out. Baited with fresh red wigglers. Six sturgeon in one day. Only other kind I caught was the little two pound blue cat at the beginning. Other than that, it's been sturgeon and that's the only thing willing to bite. The Mississippi is very low and I researched sturgeon and the shovel nose and they love sand. And that explains that I'm on a sandbar, look at this. They love sand. So now I know where to catch them from now on. Good times. All right, guys, I got something decent for once. Oh, yeah. This is what Stando Dark will get you right here. When you're thinking about going home, tough it out. I stayed that extra half an hour and this is what it got me. Oh, yeah. Nice fish right here, whatever this is. It might be another sturgeon. Yep, 
Yep, I think so. Yep. Alright. Heck yeah. Alright guys, sturgeon, shuffle no sturgeon number seven, smallest one of the day, still cool though. Glad I came today, guys. Seven of these things in one day. That's so cool. Give it about 15 more minutes, guys, and I'm out of here. Hope I get one last fish. I'm actually hoping not for a sturgeon this time. I want a uh, flathead or blue cat. They just ain't cooperating today. Caught the one. Flathead are really tough to pursue. 